This tutorial will cover the Max Banner Ads plugin and what it does is it enables you to add and rotate banners in your blog without having to edit your theme files and we're going to see how. Going to my WordPress dashboard, if I go under Tools, I will find the Max Banner Ads. Clicking on that, it takes me to the control panel for the plugin. As you can see, we have four areas already set up for you. That's the name of the zone, here the impressions, the ad gets, and here are the clicks, and the stats, and here you have a few actions. Add a new banner, edit the zone, reset zone stats, delete zones, and template or post text. This gives you the code if you would like to insert the ad into your template directly using code. Let's add a new banner. Here you have a lot of options. Either you can use a banner ad or text-based ads like the AdSense code or something similar. Let's go for banner ads. I will need to name my banner. Call it, for example, Banner 1. And then you can either enter the banner URL, if it's already online somewhere, or you can upload from your computer or from a URL. I will upload from my computer. Choose File. OK. And then if you want to link it, I can insert a link here and then click Save. Here is the banner ad created. It is within the post. Let's go to my site and refresh. Here the banner ad appears within the post. Let's see another option, which is the sidebar widget. I will click Add New, name it Sidebar 1, and then upload it from my computer also. I can link it if I wish and then click Save. Now, if I go to my site and refresh, nothing happens yet. There is one more step. I need to go under Appearance and Widgets, and I need to add the widget to my sidebar. It is called M Banner Sidebar Widget. I will drag it up here. OK, I have some options here. If I want to change the title, change alignments, I will not change those now and then click Save. Going back to my site, refresh, here is the banner ad created. Going back to Max Banner Ads again, here you can see your ads and everything related to them. You could also, if you want, add a new zone. OK, let's name the zone. You can choose where you would like to put it, top of the first post, bottom of last post, within the post, or show as a widget. You can also adjust the alignment. Would you like it to be left, right, or center, random? You also get more options here, where to place it, in which pages. You have full control of this, and you can also edit the CSS style if you want. And then, after all of this is done, you will click Save. And here is the test zone that I've just created.